Now, the rest of the story. Americans, you all have heard a lot of baloney about the hot dog. It's time you heard... <laughs> it's time you heard the rest of the story. What was the origin of the hot dog? Some of the most fascinating research performed during the preparation of these rest of the story broadcasts ends up with a dead end. All of the research material ends up in the wastebasket. It almost happened when we set out to discover the origin of the hot dog. But it didn't. Now, you could time travel nine centuries B.C. and discover sausages. Homer mentions them in his Odyssey. But what was the origin of the hot dog? And we know about the Frankfurter. Scholars direct our attention to a butcher named Johann Lahner, who lived in Coburg, Franconia during the late 17th century. He invented the worst of sorts, which became popular in his hometown, but the little sausages did not achieve wide recognition, some historians say, until Lahner promoted it among his fellow butchers in Frankfurt on Main, Germany. By mid-19th century, the citizens of Frankfurt had claimed the coarsely ground, highly seasoned Frankfurter as their own. Well, that takes care of the Frankfurter. What about the hot dog? We know about the Wiener. Wienerwurst simply means Vienna sausage, created in Vienna, Austria, about 1852. The Wiener, according to old world sausage makers, is finely ground, mildly seasoned, a balanced combination of beef and pork and veal. But what was the origin of the hot dog? We're not talking about the so-called Coney Island. That was a Frankfurter in a roll introduced... 1865 at a beer garden in Coney Island, New York. The man credited with this commercial introduction was a Frankfurt-born butcher named Charles Feltman, and he sold his product roll and all for 10 cents. He called them Frankfurters. We called them Coney Islands. Nobody called them hot dogs. You may have heard the story about a St. Louis peddler named Feuchtwanger, a concessionaire at the Louisiana Purchase Exposition in 1904. He sold hot Wienerwurst at the time, and the sausage was so hot that he offered white gloves to his patrons to prevent their hands from being scalded. When the gloves began disappearing, Feuchtwanger consulted his brother-in-law. His brother-in-law was a baker, and the result of their collaboration was an elongated bun designed to encompass Wiener sausage. But what? was the origin of the hot dog. In 1905, a concessionaire named Harry Stevens sold hot Wienerwurst at New York's Polo Grounds. He called them Red Hot Dachshund Sausages because he thought they resembled long, round Dachshund dogs. But you don't call them Dachshunds. For this reason, during that year, a sports columnist, Tad Dorgan, was present at the grounds attending a football game a sports writer, and he was intrigued by Stevens' red-hot dachshund sausages, those hot dachshund sausages, and sports writer Dorgan decided to create a cartoon for his newspaper, a cartoon about a talking sausage. But there was just one problem. Tad Dorgan, the sports writer, did not know how to spell dachshund. Really now? So in order to meet his newspaper's deadline, Tad quickly captioned his cartoon character instead of hot dachshund, hot dog, and that was the origin of the hot dog. Finally, we know the rest of the story.